Welcome to another enjoying art member painting together hour. This time we're gonna paint the color of the autumn. We're gonna painting the autumn trees. If you're a member of the enjoying art community, please plan to join us every Friday. Painting together step by step, talk through the different techniques would help you to bring out your impressions. This YouTube channel is all about how to paint and draw with joy and relaxation. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Now I have my masking fluid, so I'm making sure I have enough soap. I only mask some of the leaves in front of the tree. I'm going to start on the tree body over here. I can see some of the, the leaf like that. I'm going to this kind of motion. I'm going to actually add a little bit water in here so that a little bit more fluid. And a little bit over here too. Okay, now on the top over here, have a feel to blocking the tree. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush. It's pretty good. The brush is pretty clean. Okay, this is good. Very beautiful brush again. So I have two other bowls of water on the side over here. The masking foot layer is already dry. Now I'm gonna start painting the whole background. I try to create the impression, create this emotional first. I'm gonna use this one inch flat brush. Start from the bottom. I'm gonna take this Windsor Blue a green shade. I'm gonna start with this color. I'm gonna just tap a little bit, just quickly apply a little color over here. That's good. Right, I'm gonna have a little color over here too, and a little green, and I'm gonna remove that and quickly turn into add a little red color with the blue color. Now getting the really dark color, so put this color over here first. Just tap, 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 and create that. We can come back to do more contrast a little bit later. So I'm gonna have this color like that to see what we can do and do it really quick like that. Right. And now I'm gonna also add a little dark color over here since I have the paint and I'll add a little darker color over here too. I will come back to do more dark colors. Just use the corner of this one inch brush and I'm gonna have some color around the sun. I don't leave it because I'm gonna use the water to push the color around. That's my intention. Now I'm gonna start going into do a little yellow color so right here, ooh, that's good. Like that and have some yellow color over here in the back and painting around uh, the, the tree trunk. Okay, like that, coming over here, I'm gonna add a little bit uh, red so make it feel like a little bit warmer. Okay, like that, here you go. And on the other side, get a little uh, blue color in it. So it appear to be changing into a little uh, more of the, the yellow green color. Okay, at the bottom over here, just get a little bit of red and blend it into and showing that. That's good. So we're gonna spend more time on the row a little bit later, but lower a little bit, I'm gonna add uh, this color together, make a little bit brown, a little bit darker like in the shadow. Okay, like that, I'm gonna have this color connected too. But you don't have to make the color look like a really connected together. And that's good, like that. Now when it get back over there, otherwise it would be dry. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this color. I'm gonna come back over here. And like that, I'm still gonna leave some uh, enough for showing as a sky. And put a little color like that. I'm gonna start making the water in here, have lots of water and putting over there and I'm gonna start moving the paint around. Now here you go. This brush can uh, remove colors, erase colors uh, very well. So just push that the color around. We can come back to do another round. Just push that and 
we turn this area to be really light. That's good. To create that shine, I'm going to start having some yellow color and a little yellow color on the top over here. To start having just used the, the tip because we need to move really fast in this process. So using a large brush would be better than a small brush. If you use a small brush, it would take a longer time to cover the space. Just looking at what is this dark, what is this light. I'm gonna mix a little bit darker, but a little bit more yellow tone. So it's, even though it's dark, it still remind them that it's their yellow. Okay, like that. Let's keep a little the gap to showing it's a part of the uh, the tree you have seeing through that is the sky behind it. So somewhere over here have a little bit some area that as you can see through. Think about what color is it? How dark is the color? That is very important. It's not just what color because this is yellow color, but it's a darker yellow. So I'm also going to add a little bit the red color into that. So just use the, the little corner of this brush. I'm going to get a little yellow into here. Okay, here you go. Remember, you don't want to have it look solid. So coming over here, tap, tap, just use the corner. I reserve some space for this guy. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have a little green color coming back over here. Like that, it creates some. And I can come back to fix that even a little more. And I'm gonna have a little bit green color over here too. There you go. Like that. That's good. I'm going to add that little bit, the darker color on the road over here, connect it down over here, but it still leave a little path showing that. On this side, I'm going to make some really dark brown color. Uh, so this, it will be a good color, a little bit more red, really dark brown color. And I'm going to put them over here like that and connect that over. And then even come in in the middle between these two trees. Like that. And maybe a little bit over here. So tap on that. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to use just this brush. It's really sharp. Actually, if you take good care of it, it actually can create lots of, lots of useful freedom for you. You see that? Now I can lift up the shine. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna have this, move it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit bigger. Go through, that's good. Now, looks pretty good. I'm gonna replace some yellow color. Over here, it's totally a bit too dark. So just going to lift it up. Now I'm going to add the, just the yellow color and just put it back over here. I want this to be brighter. Now onto this color. Now it's much better. Try to make it look crazy. Try to make it feel like, oh my God, I'm so excited. That is the right feeling. Painting watercolor, you have to embrace the challenge. You have to embrace that it's uncertainty. Okay, it's just use the corner. Got a little bit gray color on the top over here. Squint your eye if you're not get used to squinting. Uh, keep squinting your eye so you can see how things is actually all meld together, how they connected together. I'm going to fill in the color in the tree trunk. I'm going to adjust the color. I'm going to just put the gray color first, and then I'm going to come back to add some blue color on the side. 
when you see a color, very important to see how dark is that color. Okay, it's very important. Is they're not the same color. At the edge, I'm going to add a lot more blue over here. Just put it over there. You see that it blend it together quickly. Now on the top over there, I'm going to have a little bit brown color. So I'm going to add a little brown color. Make sure you have enough water and have a little red. Now here you go. On the top over here, like that. Okay. Now I have some nice transition. I'm going to have a little bit more red on this side. Like that. So showing actually the color actually affecting to the tree trunk. Now I'm going to come over here on the top. Uh, now I'm going to also painting the other two. I'm going to get the gray color first. Now put it over there. But obviously it's not dark enough compared to the background. These two tree trunks actually stand out a little bit more. So I have to make it darker, right? So when you see that the tree trunk looks like a very light. In fact, they are not really light. And over here, I'm going to put this gray color here. And I'm going to add a little bit warmer color because on the top over here, you have much warmer coming down like this. So keep the freshness of the color blending. And that's good. And the top over there. And this is good. And look at the color. It's beautiful. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix a very dark color. Now very dark now. A little bit more red. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come in from here. Um, the star right here. I'm going to have it coming like this. And then let it go through. I believe I already masked enough. Okay, coming like this and then move a little bit this direction. Coming down over here and all the way connected to the bottom here. Okay, coming all the way here. Let's go. That's good. Now, right, there's one. I'm going to have this coming here. It's good, right? A little bit fussy, that even better. Uh, I could not even ask for it, but you give it to me. That's good. Okay, now I'm gonna come a little tree trunk over here. Uh, when you do a painting like this, it's not about accuracy. It's about if you actually capture that feeling of the of the of the whole mood, the impression. Okay, like that, and here you go. And this brush, you can produce a different width, the line. You can continue painting with one brush all the way to the end, almost. Like, now I'm going to come to the tree over here. After this round, you're going to feel much better that you're seeing that, oh, goodness. Now, dark color, light color, how the things connected. Is I, I, ha I have it, so this is good, like that. So now you see, this is also called give it the bones to the fresh. This is good, so I'm going to have this coming over here too, like that. With the masking, can deliver a very interesting illusion. I'm going to add a little bit more red into this. Like that, and even a little bit more red, and with the little yellow, so it make it feel like a brown. Okay, that's good. Now coming over here. All right, and coming down over here, and have a little color, pretty dark. That's good. A little bit over here. I'm gonna actually create a little branches over there. And then I'm going to have a little bit dark color kind of coming over here. I'm going to have a little bit dark color over here too. And showing that a little bit dark color over here like that. And it's pretty nice. Create some smaller line. Like over here. It's good. Like this. And let your wrist away from the paper. So you can you can move the brush a little bit easier. Like that. 
you go. Like that, here you go. Here you go. There's a couple line over here coming on. I'm gonna next. I'm gonna add some other color into it. Wow, the pink thing already come together, right? Just use the side of the brush, really spontaneous. It's good, like that. And I'm gonna have showing that as there's some leaves, and maybe closer to the light. I'm gonna have a little bit blue, just the blue color. I'm gonna have that over here to create a fresh feeling like that. Okay, now it's much better. On this side, I'm gonna add a little blue color to showing the sky, the light actually shine through. So I'm gonna actually have this whole area with the blue color. And I'll come back to do uh, other smaller line a little bit later. So I can see a little blue color to show through. Okay, now I have a little bit blue color over here, like that. Now at the bottom over here, I'm gonna also create a little bit details. And yeah, not a lot, just a little bit. And yeah, just showing the, give it a little bit spontaneous. You don't have to define it. Like uh, when you spend more time defining things and the viewer, the, your audience will sense it that you see it, oh, this that important. If something is not that important, you just want to tap, tap, tap and make it like uh, communicate your message that uh, I'm not really serious about this. It just find a balance and try to create a balance, but don't look at it as uh, something really important. So you're actually sending the signal uh, for the people looking at guessing how much attention that you have in their area. If this is not really that important, you want to just use the brush stroke, the feeling like a not really that important, right? Okay, now at the bottom over here, now I'm gonna add a little bit darker color at the front over here, create a little bit deeper contrast. So it's just the red and the blue color, two color together. And now here you go. Just tap, tap, tap. This is good. Like that. Now, immediately I communicate my intention that there is there's something even that's not the most most important. By actually, it's very close to me. That is just what the sharp edges. What Raymond asked about, where you should have the sharp edges. Sometimes the sharp edges communicate the distance. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have a little bit green color over here. Just tap on it to change a little bit color. But you don't want to make it all like a smooth together. In that case, it's going to totally communicate a different kind of message. Now I'm gonna have this color and put it over here and have a little bit separation. Also, define a little bit of the tree, uh, the tree trunk, the shape, a little bit better. Now this is good. Now the paper is already dry. Now I'm gonna remove the masking foot layers. Hey. After this, I'm gonna do the final round. Create the final balance. All the masking foot has been removed. Use this one inch flat brush. I'm gonna come back to fill in some little warm yellow color. So I'm gonna take the yellow color over here and have a little red color. I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow. Okay, start with this color and take a look and just tap on it and the color looks really good. 
not all the same color. It's like that. Just use the corner of the brush. Just tap, tap, tap. It just try to get the impression. Try to get your emotional across over here and the bottom over here a little bit darker. So I'm gonna have this color and here you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit darker color uh, right after. Okay, like this. It's not all the same color. And over here, I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. Mix that with a little blue. Here you go. Like that. A little bit more blue. And a blue gray color. So here you go. Just use the, the corner. Okay, like that. So this is a one group. Have a little bit more blue color. Have a little bit yellow. And that's good. Just when you first have this brush, it may not really easy to control. Just like a wild horse. And you have to practice a little bit more. And be a little bit patient. And now I'm going to add a little bit yellow color and a little bit red and make it more like a, a brown gray color. As a brown, brown is a gray color, but warm gray color. Like that, I'm gonna have it just the corner so you can paint faster. It's a large brush, okay, like that. Okay, I think it's very much there. It's just gonna add some line back to the painting. Let's just use the the sharp brush. I'm gonna have Okay, 